the cooking. Which of your favorite songs make you feel certain feelings that you would want your partner to feel for you? Example, mine is Snow Allegra's Fool for You. That I would want my partner to feel for me? Um, Keisha Cole's Love. But I don't really want them to feel that way. I mean, Love is more of like a You Don't Love Me Back ass song. But like, you feel me like it's like a, oh my god like how can i say no this girl is like basically putting her whole heart out you feel me like that's either that one or it would be uh something from jasmine sullivan maybe one of the two though i think am i missing one how was that a detroit answer love is like the greatest song of all time you don't know how much we sang that shit in like what 2000 and i mean obviously when it came out but like years beyond that too that's like a staple bust the windows nah 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 definitely not bust the windows it was a it was a later song oh and something from uh janae aiko yeah something from her let me think i'm, I'm missing one it was one that used to have me like in a chokehold. I just forgot who she was. Can't remember her name. The weekend? No, she said a song that I would want my partner to feel for me. I can't think of one that was sung by a well. I mean, I could put myself in a position, but it would just make more sense for me to have a girl singing it. I don't really know of anybody else. It would not be a single Beyonce song. I'm not going to lie to you. Even though I love Drunken Love. Scissor? Nah. Oh my god. I can't you just made me think of something crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? The hell is this? Excuse me? Excuse me, bitch nigga. Nigga just whacked him with the sword. This nigga trolling. There's no way I got to stop time to do my attacks. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, Paris.
That's the type of music I'd expect to hear in the background of some Ragnarok gameplay, like some God of War shit. What are we doing? Oh my God. Hold on. There. Hey, and we're back. With Quit sneaking in additional shit. I'm not playing it now based off that. Nigga just tried to sneak some shit in. I think I've seen this already too at some point. I'm pretty sure I have. Teleport performance. What about combat? You got a section for combat? No, he's talking about the story, tutorial, Hyrule, building, grabbing, fuse, teleport. Yeah, these niggas can suck one. I really want, I really, I really prefer my gameplay a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Up front and center, direct in your mouth, in your face. You feel me? Like, grab a nigga, grapple him, beat him up, stab him, shank him, throw him off a ledge type shit. You feel me? Now y'all saying you can. Uh, you don't have to do what the guy did. Why is that the gameplay you show me then? Like, show me some regular, degular shit. Why would you do that? What the fuck is Grok? Oh, I forgot to... Mm, that's actually bad. Hold on, let me see. What in the Square Enix? Parries. You only get one combo? How many combos you get? They're not happy. It's not. They're not making it. One combo per weapon. Fuck this game. I was just looking for a fucking reason not to play it. My fault though. My fault. My fault. Cause I really would play it. It's just it took me out of the one. One thing I'm gonna tell you. One thing that took me out of the vibe was really just like niggas telling me it was 60 hours that's what really like all right bro like chill gang now it might be 30 hours but that's still fucking crazy no more gaming for the rest of the month i don't know what you have against like normal people activities i understand you're not a normal person but you feel me Bramble Mountain King is only four hours max. Why do 